Los cantos de entrada al número 285 vienen con alegría. Almighty ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things to your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant we pray that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God of forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep, as a shepherd tends his flock. When he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered. When, I was, when it was cloudy and dark, 
I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek out. The strayed will bring back. The injured I will bind up. The sick I will heal. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. As for you, my sheep, says the Lord God, I will judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. The Lord is my shepherd, is not Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as Adam in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ, the first fruits. Then, at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, 
When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I stranger and you welcomed me, naked and you clothed me. Ill and you care for me, in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did, you, did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed into the eternal fire prepare for the devil in his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in, and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do it for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment by the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is not referred as king many times in the Gospels, especially in Matthew, very few times. When, uh, the Magi go and search for the king of the Jews, chapter 2. They speak of uh, the newly born king of the Jews, only there. Then the other one is the dialogue between Pilate and uh, Jesus himself. Pilate asks, are you the king of the Jews? And so this is the whole reference to the king. And then when he's crucified, of course, they put that uh, sign on the top of the cross. and then. Then of course here it's a ultimo capitulo de la meta de San Mateo, and he himself reveals himself as the king. He uses the power, the power, and a very few times the word king appears. La iglesia está dando a utilizar la idea de hoy como la fiesta de Cristo Rey, la gran fiesta, la solemnidad de Cristo Rey. Es muy interesante porque no se sabe mucho el término de rey. Mesías, rabino, maestro, todo aquello del reino, la iglesia sí lo utiliza mucho, pero en aquella época no se usaba mucho. Eh, por lo tanto, estos de los términos con relación a Jesús son importantes, al igual que el mensaje que hay detrás del término. ¿Qué quiere decir la fe de hoy? Evidentemente, está bien claro. Se nos va a medir al final de nuestra vida que no es el final de los tiempos, es el final de nuestro tiempo. Y que se acepta. Se nos va a pedir por la forma en que hemos amado. Es el tema. 
great psychologist, Alfred Adler, had made an experiment once. He announced that in, a, in an essay he wrote that he had a recipe to take away all kinds of depression and loneliness. And he, in a, that essay he says, I can cure everybody from depression or loneliness in 14 days. So this lady goes to him, approaches him and says, I would like to, uh, to, to do this. What, what do you want me to do? What can I do to be able to free, free from my loneliness? And it has been said that Adler said to, to her, all you have to do is, you need to help one person each day for 14 days. And the woman said, why do I have to help someone? Very aggravating. And Adler looked at her and says, well, in your case, you might take a moment. <laughs> Not 14 days. En muy curioso, fíjense como en el Evangelio que le dio el diablo. Hay un elemento de sorpresa. Ni los de la derecha ni los de la izquierda se daban cuenta de por qué el Señor lo llama al reino o lo rechaza del reino. Es todo una palabra. Es un elemento de sorpresa. What? What can I do? To deserve this or not to deserve this. Y el elemento de sorpresa no significa que porque lo que hacían, lo que el Señor quería, que era limitar los que tenían hambre, la de agua, que tenía sed, visitar el que estaba enfermo en la prisión, lo hacían naturalmente. Era parte de su vida normal. Y lo que no lo hacían, también lo hacían naturalmente. Era parte de su vida normal. El no hacer lo que el Señor quiere. Es muy sencillo, no es muy complicado, no hace falta una exégesis del seminario mayor para entender el Evangelio de hoy. No hace falta, porque lo que es natural a cada uno de estos grupos es el elemento de sorpresa cuando el Señor lo que la le dice: Mire, ustedes para allá, ustedes para allá. Eso es muy, muy sencillo. ¿Qué pasó? Que unos aprendieron naturalmente a extender el amor, a compartir el amor. Y los otros aprendieron a aguantar el amor, a guardarse el amor. Se parece mucho al Evangelio hace una semana cuando el de los talentos supo cómo organizar los talentos para que el maestro o el dueño del, del viviero cuando viniera pudiera entrar, entregarle más talentos y el otro que el otro no riesgo que escondió el talento. La misma idea. Muchas de estas palabras son, son muy seguidas y son muy comunes viene con el mismo tema, Jesús va a sacar estas palabras continuamente a medida que la, que la comunidad que él le hablaba era diferente. So one is extended love, the other one withheld love. It's very simple, it's very interesting. So if we learn how to withhold love, consequences will be there. If we have learned how to extend love, the consequences are there. What do we teach our children or grandchildren? What do we communicate to others? I've been ordained 43 years, and I'm still amazed to see how many people live alone and die alone. Especially as in those who have how many people we have discovered in the parish that have no one to visit them. The parish does. But when you have someone that is dying, a person who's in Tennessee, the nephew that is in Tennessee, that is possibly the the uh, the, uh, the heir of the of the aunt, and you say, well, you know, she already prepared her death. Yeah, she prepared her death. She's going to be cremated. Yeah, we'll send the cremates to New Hampshire. She's going to be buried with the rest of the family, and he doesn't even deserve to come down to see her aunt. Dying. What does it say about the culture in which we live? Don't bother me. He didn't say that. That's what it says. Don't bother. Me. Don't bother. Me. And that's the kind of culture that we live in. And so the, the, the lady died. A lady who is probably for me one of the saints I've ever met at St. Joseph's Parish. And and thought, no, he's not. I asked, is he coming? Is he coming to arrange for the way for the man? No, no, no. The parish is arranging for memorial mass. So this woman is probably one of the most intelligent women I have ever met. She worked in the White House, secretary to four presidents. 
They never cried at all. A brilliant woman. At 91, I used to talk to her about politics and she used to her about it. The nephew, Tennessee, he had three names out there. You know, it's very lonely lives. Lonely lives. So if we could every day do something for somebody else, You will possibly probably find either cards or the missalette in your pews so we can profess the faith of our church. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the light of the world to come. Let us present before the Lord our petitions, knowing that He will listen to them and take care of them. For the Church, that she may, may gently seek the lost and guide her flock to the heavenly kingdom, we pray to, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For los líderes públicos, nombrados o elegidos, para que protejan la sagrada vida humana a medida que formulan las leyes. Oremos al Señor. Lord, hear our prayers. For the poor and the destitute, that they may find a means of support that maintains their personal dignity and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For los hombres y las mujeres que están en servicio militar, para que se mantengan sanos y salvos mientras llevan a cabo sus responsabilidades. Oremos al Señor. Lord, hear our for those for whom this Eucharist is being offered, which is the uh, uh, Peter Pan, for all their intentions, their family, and especially also the ones that are with the, in front of the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Padre Celestial, escucha las plegarias de quienes están en necesidad de sanación y misericordia. Con gran fe te rogamos que escuches estas oraciones. Te lo pedimos en nombre de Jesús, tu Hijo, quien vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. Amén.
pray my sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. El Señor esté con ustedes. Levantemos el corazón. Demos gracias al Señor nuestro Dios. En verdad es justo y necesario. En nuestro deber y salvación, darte gracias siempre y en todo lugar, Señor Padre Santo, Dios Todopoderoso y Eterno. Porque consagraste sacerdote eterno y rey del universo. A tu Hijo Unigénito, nuestro Señor Jesucristo, para que ofreciéndose a sí mismo como víctima perfecta y pacificadora en el altar de la cruz, consumara el misterio de la redención humana y sometiendo a su poder la creación entera, entregar. Del mismo modo, acabada la cena con el cáliz y dándote gracias de nuevo, lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomad y bebed todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna que será derramada por vosotros y por todos los hombres para el perdón de los pecados. Hacer esto en conmemoración. Este es el misterio de la fe. Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida 
y el cáliz de salvación y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra y reunida aquí en el domingo, día en que Cristo ha vencido a la muerte y nos ha hecho partícipes de su vida inmortal. Y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro obispo Thomas y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, lleva a su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos que se durmieron en la esperanza de la resurrección, de tu siervo Brian, de todos aquellos que participaron en el programa Pedro Pan que han fallecido y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia. Admítelos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. De misericordia de todos nosotros. Y así con María, la Virgen, Madre de Dios, San José su esposo, los apóstoles, San Agustín y cuantos vivieron en tu amistad a través de los tiempos, merezcamos por tu Hijo Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo con el bien, a ti Dios Padre omnipotente, en la unidad de Dios.
Oremos. Alimentados con el pan que da la vida eterna, te pedimos, Señor, que quienes nos gloriamos en obedecer que a ti y obedecer los mandatos de Cristo, Rey del Universo, podamos vivir con Él eternamente en el cielo. Esto todo lo pedimos por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. I'd like to thank our musicians, the great um, uh, Armando and Maestro Mula for his, their present. Our deacon, of course, Father Carruthers for the, for the space he gave us here at St. Augustine's and you for arranging it and of course our assistants and the two Carmen's for helping us. Last night, ustedes estaban anoche con los sobrinos del juez, hoy vinieron a encontrarse con el juez en Jesucristo, así que nada con los sobrinos, con el verdadero juez, así que that's wonderful that you were here to, to gather together for, for this event, for this celebration. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. Thanks be to God.